Hi and welcome back to How to Gold Farm an Old School RuneScape, Episode 2. So it's been just over a week since we initially set up our 5 merching bots on our dedicated server, and the only thing that I've done to these accounts over the course of the last 9 days was restart them on the weekly update that happens every Thursday. Each account has give or take 1 to 2 mil more than what the current value is listed at, but we're only going to include the number that's listed just to keep it simple. So if we round up our gains from last week of doing literally nothing, we made about 75 mil profit with 5 accounts. Now during this last week, while these bots were running, it gave me lots of free time to work on scripting and preparing for this upcoming week, where we are going to be attempting to bot and free to play and not get completely obliterated with bans. Now there's a lot of free to play money makers that you can actually do that make decent money when you're running a lot of accounts, but regardless of which method I decide to go with, the first thing that we're going to need to focus on is overcoming the free to play requirements to be able to trade off our botted wealth. Some people buy free to play unlocked accounts, some people sell to shops and buy back their items for a small loss, some people PK their own accounts, but for simplicity's sake we're just going to be making and using accounts that have already unlocked the ability to trade off their wealth. If you need 10 quest points, time to use a questing bot. If you need 100 total level, time to bot something that'll give you stats as well as GP. If you need 20 hours of in-game time, just don't get banned. So the first thing we're going to do to make our free-to-play farm or money-making adventures easier is we're going to purchase 100 auths of End Restocker for $20. What End Restocker allows us to do is set up the tasks in the order we want them done. So essentially, get 10 quest points, train to 100 total level, and then AFK the remainder of the time that we need until the trade restriction expires. And if we have no problems with that, we can just add our gold farming methods to end restocker to automatically start making money as soon as the account is ready. So for now, we only have our 5 merchers running and around 20 or so free to play accounts to test out that everything is working as intended, and throughout the week we will add more and more accounts until the server is at max capacity. Ideally, we will be making about 2.5 mil to 10 mil profit per day from our merchers, and we will be making around 20 to 40 mil a day from running our free to play accounts. So if all goes as planned, we'll be making around 40 to 50 mil profit per day, which is about $25 profit per day, or maybe more if we have a good day. 